Now, once we understand the static rendering using get static props, let's understand the server side rendering. If the page use server side rendering, the page HTML is generated on each request. To use server side rendering for a page, you need to export an async function called get server side props. This function will be called by the server on every request. So let's suppose if I create a new component here and I'm going to name that component page.js and if I just export here a default function which is page and if I return the same JSX we have inside this home let's suppose that if I return the same JSX here using this post and uh, let me pass here a parameter post like this then if I want to use server side rendering then I'm going to export a sync function call get server side props make sure the name is exactly same now we return the get server side props instead of get static props now as you know we use get static props for static generation and we use get server side props for server side rendering now this function will be called by the server on every request now inside this we fetch the data from the server so let's suppose that we have here a constant variable response is equal to and then we fetch this data using fetch function right now i don't have any api so i'm not going to use this fetch function instead i'm just going to use my previous object this one so let's suppose that we get the data something like this inside this variable and now i wanted to return this data so i'm going to just say here return in the object we pass props and then in this props we pass the response if you want you can change and specify any name to this response variable now in the page we are getting the property called post so instead of response we pass here post something like this now if you want to pass this post to the prop directly then you can do that as well you can just get rid of this object and pass your post here that's completely fine but when you do that you have to get rid of this object and get props as a parameter and using that props you get these variables so you just have to say here props dot title and props dot description something like this now let me save these changes and this time i'm going to say post data from server side rendering i just change the description of this data now let me save this back to my browser and instead of home right now we pass here page when i press enter oops something is missing here i did not added the layout inside this page so let me just grab the layout import statement and pass that right up here save this back to my browser and reload it i'm gonna have my data what i want i'm gonna get the daily tuition post and inside the description you can see the post data from the server side rendering props so whenever you make a request on every request the get server side props will automatically execute the server must compute the result on every request and the result cannot be cached by CDN without any extra configuration. So using get server side props, it will take time to load the data in the browser. So if you have frequently updated data in your application, then you can easily use this get server side props. So I hope you understand the difference between static rendering and server side rendering. Next, we'll talk about fetching client side data.